Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. And also, if you enjoy the content and want to be a part of our inner circle, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's where we share exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access, and connect with you on a more personal level. Please, check the link in the description. Let's start the video now. Exclusive. After his most recent trip to the UK, Prince Harry allegedly made one error, according to a royal expert. In a recent development following Prince Harry's latest rendezvous with the royal family, a prominent royal expert has raised doubts about King Charles III's trust in his son, Harry. The Duke of Sussex, who recently made a brief visit to the UK, reportedly did not meet the king during his stay, despite having paid him a visit back in February. The February meeting gained attention as it coincided with the public revelation of King Charles' cancer diagnosis on February 5th. Harry hastily traveled to London to meet with his father at Clarence House, only to depart for the U.S. within 24 hours to rejoin his family in California. Upon his return, Harry made a notable appearance on Good Morning America. Although offering sparse details about his visit with the king, the timing of the interview, coming so soon after his father's diagnosis, raised eyebrows and fueled speculation. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams, speaking to Express Co. UK, suggested that the lack of trust evident in Harry's actions extends to both him and his wife, Meghan Markle. Fitzwilliams remarked, Harry's appearance on Good Morning America after they met in February, where he talked about the unifying effect of serious illness, may not have gone down well. The rift in the royal family, meanwhile, remains the subject of worldwide attention, but with good reason. They don't trust either Harry or Meghan. The strained relationship between Harry and the royal family has been apparent for some time, particularly since the couple's decision to step down as senior working royals in early 2020. Harry's Good Morning America appearance was previously labeled a PR stunt, further eroding any trust that may have remained. Despite his declaration of love for his family during the interview, it was seen as a blatant violation of palace trust. Harry's recent visit to the UK, although brief, was followed by a surprise journey to Nigeria, accompanied by Meghan Markle, who flew into Heathrow Airport to meet him. Contrary to expectations, the couple reunited at the airport to embark on a seven-hour flight to the African country. Their itinerary in Nigeria has been packed with engagements, including discussions with Nigerian schoolchildren about mental health and a visit to the defense headquarters in Abuja. During their three-day visit, Harry is scheduled to meet injured service members at a military hospital on May 10th, while Meghan is slated to co-host an event on women in leadership with Dr. Gazi Okonjo Ewelia, Director General of the World Trade Organization on May 11th. As Prince Harry and Meghan Marco continue to navigate their roles post-royal family, their actions are scrutinized under the lens of trust and responsibility, both within the institution and the public eye. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So until the next time, hasta la vista.